Okay, so I just want to show you how I would add some eyes geometry. Um, so I would append a sphere. So I have a new layer and hide everything else. So you can do this two ways. You can do this with symmetry turned on, or you can just create one eye and then um, move it over and mirror and weld it. Let's do that way. It'll be a little easier. So this initial layer is going to be my eyeball. And then I'm going to turn a duplicate layer into the top and bottom lids. So let's do that. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Um, for the first layer, I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. Hide this. Not too much, but that's my actual eyeball, we'll call it. It's usually a little wider. There we go. And then for this one, I'm going to use my clip curve, which is brush and C and then clip curve. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. Brush and C, clip curve. So remember control shift. And make sure that you're facing straight ahead. To turn off the gizmo, you're going to use your draw mode. And I'm just gonna go control and shift and click and go this direction. Everything that's on the gradient side will be clipped away. So I could also go control and shift and go this direction, but it clips the other half off, which is fine. But you can see now I have this kind of nice, neat piece that works pretty well for an eyeball or an eyelid. It's a little big, but that's okay. What I really wanna do is rotate this around. So if I'm looking at the side of the head, all I wanna do is rotate this direction. So it looks like I've got a little bit of an eye opening. Now I can duplicate this layer. And I can you can either physically rotate it back. Oops, there we go. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, and so from the front view, you've just got this nice little opening here. And if you want to adjust it up and down, you can. If you'd like to adjust the inner eye, you could make it bigger or smaller. Actually, maybe I was okay the first time. Um, you can also make this thinner or thicker. But that's kind of the basics of a very simple eye. Once you're happy with this, you can, since they're all different polygroups, you can merge these down. Uh oh, looks like that split them all into the same polygroup. So if you want to have different polygroups, you can just go to polygroups and auto groups. Now they're all something different. And now we can move the whole thing over. And this is where mirror and weld comes in. So let me find geometry, modify topology, mirror and weld. We got another eye. So that's how you would do it. Hopefully that helps. Good luck and let me know if you need anything.